This is a bite-sized English lesson with Burzland Jubilee and today we are going to talk about telling the time. When we talk about the time, we sometimes use a watch. A watch is something that you wear on you. If you don't wear it on you, like an alarm clock, it's not a watch, it's a clock. For example, a clock on your wall a clock in the street or a clock on a tower. Please remember the difference between a watch and a clock. You will also remember that there are 24 hours in a day but only 12 digits on a clock. That's why we use AM and PM. It means that when an hour hand goes round the clock for the first time, we say it is a.m. And when an hour hand goes round the clock for the second time, we say it is p.m. Let's look at some examples. What time is it? It is one o'clock or it's 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. Sometimes ESO learners make a mistake saying it's 1 o'clock p.m. We can't use o'clock and p.m. together. That's an error. You can say it's 1 o'clock or it's 1 a.m. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock. It's 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. Can you say it's 2 o'clock p.m.? No, that's a mistake. We don't use o'clock and p.m. together. We say it's 2 o'clock or it's 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. It's 3 o'clock, it's 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. Can we say it's 3 o'clock p.m.? No, that's a mistake. It's 3 o'clock or it's 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. What time is it? It's 4 o'clock. It's 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. It's 5 o'clock. It's 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. It's 6 o'clock. It's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. It's 7 o'clock. It's 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. It's 9 o'clock. It's 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. When we talk about minutes, we sometimes use past. When the minutes hand is on the right hand side, we say past. For example, you can see that it is 12 hours and 15 minutes, so we say it's a quarter past 12. Can we say it's a quarter past 12 o'clock? No, we don't use the word o'clock with minutes. We say it's a quarter past 12. What time is it? You can see that it's one hour and 15 minutes. It's a quarter past one. Now it's two hours and 15 minutes. It's a quarter past two. This time it's three hours and 15 minutes. It's a quarter past three. This time it's four hours and 15 minutes. A quarter past four. This time it's 5 hours and 15 minutes. 
it's a quarter past five. This time it's six hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past six. This time it's seven hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past seven. This time it's eight hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past eight. This time it's nine hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past nine. This time it's ten hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past ten. This time it's eleven hours and fifteen minutes. It's a quarter past eleven. What time is it? This time it's twelve hours and thirty minutes. It's half past twelve. Can we say it's half past twelve o'clock? No, we don't use o'clock with minutes. It's half past twelve. This time it's one hour and thirty minutes. It's half past one. This time it's two hours and thirty minutes. It's half past two. This time it's three hours and thirty minutes. It's half past three. This time it's four hours and thirty minutes. It's half past four. It's five hours and thirty minutes. So it's half past five. And this time it's six hours and thirty minutes. It's half past six. It's seven hours and thirty minutes. So it's half past seven. And it's eight hours and thirty minutes. So we say it's half past eight. It's nine hours and thirty minutes. So it's half past nine. It's ten hours and thirty minutes. So it's half past ten. It's eleven hours and thirty minutes. It's half past eleven. When we talk about minutes and the minutes hand is on the left hand side, we say two. For example, what time is it? You can see that it's nearly twelve o'clock. It will be twelve in fifteen minutes. So we say it's a quarter to twelve. It's nearly one o'clock. It will be one in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to one. It's nearly two o'clock. It will be two in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to two. It's nearly three o'clock. It will be three in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to three. It's nearly four o'clock. It will be four in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to four. It's nearly five o'clock. It will be five in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to five. It's nearly six o'clock. It will be six in fifteen minutes. So it's a quarter to six. It's nearly seven o'clock. It will be seven in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to seven. It's nearly eight o'clock. It will be eight in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to eight. It's nearly nine o'clock. It will be nine in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to nine. It's nearly eleven o'clock. It will be eleven in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to eleven. It's nearly twelve o'clock. It will be twelve in fifteen minutes. It's a quarter to twelve. When we talk about the time when something happens, we use at. For example, what time is your appointment? My appointment is at eight a.m. 
What time does your shift ends? My shift ends at a quarter past five. What time does your lesson start? My lesson starts at half past three. What time is your bus? My bus is at a quarter to five. I hope this lesson was useful for you. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please post them on Burslem Jubilee Facebook page or on Study English with Friends Facebook group. And watch this space for the information about our live lessons on Zoom. Thank you for watching.